Hey, 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 vote doctor. Hey, 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 George, how's it going, buddy? Hey, um, got a good boat. It takes this chop pretty damn good. That's where the 21 comes in, this hard top. And it isn't the warmest out here today, and we got a good north wind, maybe uh, 20 miles an hour. You hit over by the bridge. Uh, now, I don't know if you want a detailed map on here, uh, but you need a chip for that, like the Navionic Plus card. Uh, right now, you just get like tracking and heading line in the channel, <clears throat> somewhat. Uh, depth finder works really good. There's uh, a lot of smelt running. Uh, there's some, uh, there was a salmon, I think, down at the very bottom here, uh, about 20 yards back. Okay, everything seems to work. Okay, now, just so you know, in the very back, there's a switch right by, <clears throat> oh, see that little gas switch back there? You got saddle tanks. You got a tank here, a tank here, and a tank there. And you move that to go to the left uh, port tank, starboard tank, main tank is straight up. Uh, they work. There's gas in this one, no gas in that one. And then up in here, in the very bow of the boat, is your fresh water tank. That's a switch right here. So when you hit that on, that takes that fresh water back to this hose right here. It's coming out. And then your raw water is right there. Looks like this was uh, made recently because this was on here last time I was out here. A uh, really good boat. They got to fix the the latch for reverse because when you kick it into reverse, uh, actually, yeah, the motor will kick up on you. Anyway, keep an eye on them thumb screws. Just make sure those are tight all the time. Uh, because those that's the kicker ain't bolted on. You do have a shutoff valve for the kicker. The Suzuki runs great. That one runs great. You got a hydraulic here. Like, real smooth boat. Uh, I set up your GPS and sonar for you. Data numbers. Uh, depth. Then you got different combos up in here too. Uh, like sonar, you just want that clear view, you can just do that, go back, go home. If you want your charts, you can go to fishing charts right here, go here. If you want your combos, go there. I set up a combo here, so you got all three. Okay, tack works good, trim tabs work good, horn works, uh, wiper blade. Uh, this one over here, you can see uh, you got manual bilge pumps, that works, auto works. Accessories, I don't know what he's got them hooked up to. Uh, running lights, I'm going to turn that on real quick. Go to anchor lights, I'm going to check that. Okay, see right there, that blade there's gone. And then you go over here, port, that works. These lights they got working, T-tops. I'm going to run back here real quick. Yep, light works. Very, oh, i tell you what a difference when you get in here. Wow. Nice and warm. Okay, so then we're going to turn that off. Then all you have to do is turn the key. Fires up. The beep is just a checklist. Then we're going to go back the other way. Oh, yeah, it's nice in here. Wow, really nice. Get out of that wind. And actually, this did pretty dang good. Like, say, your 17s, 16s, you probably, 16s aren't so bad, but 17, 19s, you would have felt this short, short little chop on it. Man, did I hit my head hard. I don't even know where I'm at right now. I guess I'll go that way. Wow, yeah, I went like this and whacked it on the side of the last big swell. I'm kind of slurring my words. I think I got brain damage. Well, they said I had brain damage probably back when I was a kid. That could be it, too. That's Scott. He's working me too hard. Making my brain go numb. Anyway, give it a little gas. Goes really nice. There you go, boom, right up on top. Then you can use your trim tabs. But trim this motor first. Get your trim tab trigger out. Suicide knobs. Give it a little bit more gas. See, it goes through here pretty good. You're going to get flexing there, but that's the door. There, see, I'm going full throttle through this short little bit of carving. Coming out of the north. Got to turn to 55. Almost 5800, that's good. Yeah, nice. Good, you 
got everything dialed in. I'm going to give it a little bit more tree tap, straighten her out because of this crosswind. Yeah, it runs a lot better. Wow, keep going. It's a happening. Whoa, look at that. Don't lean into this baby. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Okay, so then we slow her down. Bring the tab back up. Go over here. Uh, it's uh, slack. It's gonna incoming. So what we're gonna do is just go like this. Shut this baby off. Come back here. Then turn the motor this way. Slack. See that should have locked but it doesn't. I'll show you in a minute. Choke, you have to go clean over here to, when it's warm, make sure it's in neutral. Just fire it up. But here's what happens right now. If I put, give it any gas, see how it pops up? There should be a latch that stops that. See how it runs good? about that popping into reverse if you're careful you can go like this help it get up here a little bit then turn it off and just go like this that's one advantage <laughs> then you can turn your gas off like that and you're good to go just remember don't trim your motor up if this is off okay because it's going to whack it right here so if you're going to tilt your motor off, travel and whatever, if you watch it, you're fine. You can just leave it where it's at when you trim it up. Uh, if not, you're going to hit this. So you need to take these pins out, move it around, and then put the pins back in. And then these, make sure you latch down because if you're going down the highway and you don't, those lids are going to flop up and you're going to lose it. Night. Oh, wow. Jeez, I'm like a minute. Wow, it's like I'm in the house. I like it. I like it a lot. Turn the key on. Get out of this because we're in, what, 17 feet. That's what I thought. Pretty flat bottom. 17.1. Right there. Yep, seems to be running good. So I'll just let it go like this for a while. See what happens. Needs a clean job. Other than that, George is good to go. Oh, look at that. The older ones, like say your 19, 17, and this stuff, like I'm going against them, they're about not even a second apart with a little wind wave. They just beat you up. This boat ain't doing that. That's the advantage of the 21. Very nice. You'll like this. Hi, right, George. I think I'm going to go anchor and take a nap. I don't even know where I'm at right now. Huh. Where am I? Where am I? I don't know.